In this section, we're going to introduce Cisco UCS Central. Cisco UCS Central software really extends the functionality and concepts that we learned in using Cisco UCS Manager. Cisco UCS Manager allowed us to manage a single domain, where UCS Central is going to allow us to manage many domains, up to 10,000 servers across multiple data centers, remote locations. We get to manage it from a single logical place. This allows us to easily deploy workloads and infrastructure and enforce policy across widely separated UCS systems. And it allows us to manage our inventory, manage our resources, things like resource pools and service profiles and so forth in a central and consistent manner. Now, it's important to recognize that UCS Central does not replace UCS Manager. UCS Manager is the basic component we use for managing a single UCS domain. A single UCS domain is a pair of fabric interconnects and all their associated servers, whether B series, C series, S series, whatever type of servers that they actually are. But we have a single domain, like I said, just a pair of fabric interconnects, and we manage that typically with UCS Manager, all right? And so with one domain, it's not that hard to manage a single UCS instance. But however, what about when we scale past that one domain? And so we start to scale up, and now we want to go ahead and have multiple UCS systems. Now we could manage each of these independently, but that's not very efficient. We have to manage one system, set up its policies, pools. We have to set up another system to go ahead and deploy that to another UCS system. And if we have you know, 25 different UCS domains, that's a lot of management across all of those domains. And so we're looking for a way to centralize this, a way to go ahead and easily not only manage the deployment, but also managing the monitoring, be able to have a centralized inventory, a centralized health source, to be able to go through and launch KVM to any server I want, independent of what domain it's connected to. Oftentimes, these are regional. So for example, a couple of these domains might be located in New York City. We might have some located out in California and out in Chicago. And so, you know, we could have disparate systems. We want a central way, a global way, to manage these different systems. UCS Central gives us exactly that. UCS Central enables global management of multiple UCS domains, both local and remote, making us more efficient and more effective. Cisco UCS administrators can manage and gain a high level view of all of the UCS domains, including a number of capabilities that we'll be discussing. But that's really the goal here is to have nice centralized management where we can say, hey, listen, I want to KVM to this machine. Or I want to set up policy or firmware policy or hardware compatibility reports. Maybe I want to have global pooling for like MAC addresses or global poolings for WWPM. And this is some of the things that UCS Central gives us in this multi-domain type environment. Now, there's some really cool things in UCS. We'll be seeing some of these when we get into our demos. The dashboard. So nice to have a dashboard that spans all of your UCS domains. So you don't have to log into this UCS manager, then log into one in New York, then log into one in Chicago, log into one in LA. It's great to have one single place to say, oh, hey, there's an error in New York. Hey, there's an error over here in Chicago. Very easy. Also, we can do consistency. We can ensure that if we want the policy for our entire corporation, that, hey, the people in Dallas or in Chicago or in St. Louis, wherever we have these, are all using the same policy so we can enforce and have the correct policies. We also can manage things like addresses. If we want to make sure we have unique addresses, unique MAC addresses, unique worldwide port names, worldwide note names, etc., we have the ability to have these global pools, these global policies, all right? Everything's centralized. So we have a single repository. And so we can say, hey, when you deploy an ESXi server, every site uses this service profile. We have a repository for global service profiles. And so it really allows us to treat these multiple systems as a single logical system. Now we're briefly going to look at the architecture behind UCS because we know that a lot of, has a lot of benefits, a lot of cool features. But let's take a little bit look at the architecture. UCS Central 
is just a virtual machine, right? We go ahead, we download the OVA, we deploy the OVA, most commonly in VMware, but you can deploy it elsewhere, of course. Uh, but we simply deploy this virtual appliance for management. So it's incredibly easy to do a deployment. So obviously we have our hypervisor, whether KVM, VMware, Hyper, whatever it is, and then we're running our UCS Central on top of this. UCS Central talks to all the different UCS managers. In our older versions, we had to do the join from UCS Manager. Now we can join the domains from either UCS Central or UCS Manager, but that talks to all of the different locations, all the places where we have UCS domains. It communicates in a variety of ways. We can see database storage out to cisco.com and through an API so we can easily integrate it with other tools that we have. And most commonly, we administer this through HTTPS, although there are other ways that we can accomplish administration. So the idea, the concept behind UCS Central is very simple, right? Instead of having multiple UCS managers for every UCS domain, well, I still have them, but now I'm going to have one single central authority for managing thousands of servers, ensure a consistent, accurate, easy to manage deployment. And this is what Cisco UCS Central is all about.